Hi, I'm Pat Ponicell, an associate editor with Automotive Engineering Magazine here at the SAE 2014 World Congress in Detroit. Joining us is Peter Fleps. He's a futurist with BMW's Institute for Mobility Research. Welcome, Peter. Thank you very much for the invitation. So for me as a young professional in the automobile industry, this is just a great event to join. Thank you. Good to hear. You just gave a presentation that ended with a question to the audience. Are you an optimist or a pessimist? For automotive engineers, which outlook is more justified? I would say definitely the positive outlook. I mean, the, the uh, car industry had a tough time over the last years, but it seems that everyone is getting back on track. There are so many um, great technologies um, we're currently uh, um, developing, uh, which will really help us to uh, kind of push iconic changes in our industry. In what areas of automotive engineering is optimism more warranted than pessimism? In, in, in what areas is pessimism more warranted than optimism? Well, I think for everything that is related to alternative engines, um, optimism is more warranted. Um, so you can already buy a lot of cars that are engined by um, um, hybrid engines or electric um, cars. So the technology is available. We just need to convince a little bit more the customers uh, about the benefits of those technologies. But as we see that the customer attitudes are also currently changing um, into a more sustainable and uh, ecological direction, I'm really confident that uh, those uh, alternative engine technologies will get a great push in the next years. Uh, on the other side, um, thinking about um, autonomous vehicles, um, I'm a little bit more pessimistic, although I really like the technology, um, but um, there are still a lot of um, regulatory and legal hurdles to overcome before we really see highly autonomous vehicles driving around, so meaning cars that, are, um, that drive around without almost any intervention of the driver. So th this would be really cool, but I think we'll need a little bit more time for that. Yeah. Okay, very good. What outside variables, uh, such as global oil supply, climate change, economic conditions, and so forth, which do you think will have the greatest impact on the future of the automotive industry? Well, of course, it, it could be a mixture of all those effects. So um, there could be, again, a large a global economic crisis. Uh, energy prices could get very, very high. Uh, the regulatory environment could even um, go in a direction that is even stricter than w what we expect today. So it's a mixture, but that's, there is so much uncertainty, and that's why we really, as an industry, have to spend more what-if thinking, more scenario thinking, in order to be better prepared in the future for such crisis. Interesting. Okay. Are you yourself an optimist? Does a futurist have to be an optimist? Or? Of course, I, I really think a futurist has to be optimistic, and I am really an optimistic guy, and I'm really looking forward uh, to really shaping the future of mobility together with all these people who have joined this Congress here. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.